So hello again, and uh, in this video we're going to go back to Lightroom and have a look at how to do quite a common thing in Lightroom. Now recently we've been talking about the filters. We 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 did a little um, we did a little video a couple of weeks ago um, comparing Lee filter to uh, to something else. There's a little link up in the corner there. And in this video we're going to have a look at how to apply a graduated filter in Lightroom. So if you haven't got a graduated Lee filter, you can do that in Lightroom. So this video is going to show you how to do that. So let's get straight out to the computer and, uh, and take a look. So here we are. We're in, uh, we're in uh, Lightroom and we're in the library module. And we've selected this picture, which is, a, as you can see, it's an old pillbox um, on a snowy day. And we're going to try and just darken down that sky a little bit just to make it, uh, just to change its characteristics slightly. So the first thing we're going to do is drop into the develop module. And we can do that by pressing D or just hitting this, uh, you know, develop in the top as I've just done. And then we see our develop panel just here. We're not going to worry about detail and all that kind of stuff at the moment. All we're going to try and do is drop a graduated filter onto that sky. Um, and if we look across these little icons here, we can see a square or a rectangle. Actually, it's not a square. Elementary mass, that Mr. Stead. So there is a rectangle there. And what we're going to do with this rectangle is we're just going to click it. This is the graduated filter tool in um, Lightroom. And what we're going to do here is, once again, all our, all our settings, as we do with many, with many icons here, all our settings drop up and tells us, okay, so what do we want to do when we drop this filter on? Well, actually, we, we probably want to drop the exposure a little bit. So if we want, uh, there's, there's about half, there's one, there's one stop, about 0.3. Let's go two stop at about 0.6. Let's just take two stops off that. That's quite a lot, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Now, this rectangle tool, this filter tool, is quite is quite good. Now, what you're going to do is, when you buy Lee filter, you will have a hard edge, soft edge, um, sort of graduation, where the graduation turns from dark to light, and we have the same in Lightroom. Basically, at whatever point you you click, your first click, and you hold your mouse, your finger on the mouse, that's when the graduation will start. And when you click, when you let go, that's when your graduation will finish. So I'll just give you a brief demonstration up here in the sky. We click and we drag down. As we drag down, we can see that stop appearing and we can see the depth and the size of that graduation. We can also change the angle of it, just as you would in, um, just like just by moving your mouse left and right. I've still got my finger on the mouse button. Um, and if you want to get it absolutely straight, you can press shift and that will kind of lock it as I've just pressed shift now, you can see, even though I'm moving left and right, it's locked it into it's at the horizontal position. If I move too far, it'll flick to vertical. So we're going to want quite a hard edge on this image, I think. So I'm going to put it back there. And then what I can do is I can just grab hold of it and drag it down to that horizon point. That's one the easiest way of doing it. What I would... Sorry, that's not the easiest way of doing it. That's, that's an easier way of doing it. If I just delete that, um, the, the way that I would normally do it is I would, is I would come down to, to reselect the tool there. Um, I would uh, just come down to where I want the graduation to start and finish. So I would probably go, uh, you can go for a super hard one there and just go literally finger on shift that much. Uh, and that I've just done it on the line where I want the graduation to be. Now, as you can see, and this is, the, this is the, the advantage of Lightroom to using um, a, a, a filter in camera. What we've done there, not only have we graduated the sky, we've also graduated the, the building there and a bit of these trees that we maybe might want to do. So what we can do on here is if we just drop down into the menu options and we can select brush. And then the, what we can select there is erase. And what happens then is we get a little... We get a little minus um, icon there within a circle, and we can change the size of that circle. And this is the brush size by rolling our mouse wheel, or just by moving your finger on the trackpad in on the on a Mac, for example. Or you can do it using these tools here: feather and size. So size, as we, as we roll the mouse, you can see the feather down here getting bigger and smaller. And the feather is the amount of feather on the edge of the uh, on the edge of the uh, brush. We're going to leave that about twenty. I'm going to take a quite a small brush there, and I'm actually going to just brush out some of the graduation on this building. Oh, I've gone a bit too far over. That's not a problem. I just run down the side of those hills there, and I'll do the same on this side. There we 
go. Now you can see I've gone over a little bit there. So what I can do now is go back to brush A. I was going to brush it back in again. Take a nice small brush and just brush that back in where I've brushed it out. There we go. Maybe not perfect that, maybe a little bit more required. There we go. Maybe a slightly bigger brush. There. So we can see there we've got our graduated filter on. Uh, we've taken out the, the areas of the building we don't we don't wish to, to have there. And what we can do now is we can we can have a play with that filter. So we've got it on about two stops, minus, minus 0.6. Minus 0.6, so let's let's drop that down a little bit further. That's way too dark, so let's push it back up. And I think probably about, yeah, maybe about there. Just take it, just take uh, half a stop off. Um, and then, you know, we can change the blacks and whites. We can take some highlights out if we worry about highlights. We can change the, the saturation there. So if it's not blue enough, we could maybe push the blue a little bit. Um, we can use dehaze. If you want a bit of haze in the sky, we can, we can start to put the haze in, that looks terrible, we can, or we can take it out completely, just pushing the haze, and that's pushing contrast, as you can see, and, and saturation. I'm gonna leave that as it is, actually. Clarity is quite a good one for skies. You can take a bit of clarity, take the clarity out, and it just kind of blurs those clouds a little bit and just makes them not quite as sharp. Um, I'll just take a little bit off there, I think. And there we go, we can, we've, 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 in a few seconds, we've just added a graduated filter in Lightroom. You can as many as you like. We could we could build another one if we liked. We could uh, we could do a new one just by clicking new, and let's uh, let's take this one up from the bottom. Let's uh, let's take that diagonal line there and just see if we can just change a little bit. The oh, what have I got there? I've selected the wrong tool. Let's get rid of that. Delete. Not too sure how we've done that. Let's go back to graduated filter, and I'm just going to put a a line in there. Now with this one, I'm just going to wiggle it around a little bit so I can get it roughly on the line of, of that snow. There we go, a little bit of a graduation on there. And what we can do here is once again we can, um, we, we might want to leave that as it was at, uh, at zero, maybe just take a touch off. But what we can do there maybe is, is increase the sharpness of, of that snow so we get more, more of the detail in the snow. Let's push, push that up to about there and you know once again there are lots of effects. We have just done the sharpness on the snow, but there's lots of effects you can apply with these filters. The, the common one is always going to be exposure um, to do skies and things like that, but you, you can change other aspects of your image. So there we go. If we look at this image again now, and if I just hit the Y key, pressing Y shows us on the left the before and on the right the after. And you know, it's not a great image. It's not a perfect image by any means. It's just there to demonstrate the uh, the effect of that graduated filter, but I think you can see there is a marked difference in those images, and uh, this is a really useful tool. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please give us a uh, comments below, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, and if you want to be notified of all our future videos, there is a subscribe button down in that corner. Just give it a click and uh, and join us on the Charlie Photographics uh, YouTube channel. I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.